Wayne Mason, 8517 John Ham Road, Milton, Florida, 32583. Uh, I'm here today to ask for your help once again. I've talked to Mr. Furman numerous times, uh, and I've got pictures on my phone, but because of this recent flooding, uh, our homes are probably right now uh, flooding as I speak. Uh, and we can do better than this. I mean, once again, I'll say this. If the state of Louisiana can keep the entire Mississippi River out of New Orleans, we can fix some of these issues. You know, and I, I, I don't mean to be disrespectful when I say this, but you are my employees. I'm an a, a honorably discharged veteran. Uh, I'm a disabled veteran an executive board member and trustee for the largest labor organization in Santa Rosa County, a helicopter mechanic that for our the, the defense industry here at Whiting Field. <clears throat> I've lost everything I've owned in Hurricane Frederick, Aaron, Opal, could, uh, I was about to say Katrina, <laughs> but uh, in 2004, the Ivan, and when you've lost your kids' photos, all your military awards and decorations, you know, I mean, my, my pictures are the last seven, eight years with my wife and everything that I've ever worked for, some of the proudest moments of my life were washed down Blackwater River. And I moved away from any place that I thought could ever damage me flooding again. I love the water, um, and and in 2014, my house flooded, and here it is again today. Um, the conveyance of Tracy Drive and John Ham Road. One of my best friends that I went to school with is is trying to get everything she has in her house tied up to walls and up on top of things because water is literally probably coming into her house as we speak. Uh, I spent $160,000 on my home, beautiful furnishings, uh, and we, we need help with this. I mean, we really do. Uh, I know the, the state has came in and, and did some things there, uh, and I don't know what we have to, have to do to correct this, but, but we need help. And, uh, you know, I'd ask for your assistance, and if there's anything I can do to help you. I mean, I'm a very smart person. My mother's Janice Mason, Mr. Andrews, you remember her. Uh, she gave a lot of her life to the county employment, you know, as Judge Melvin's secretary and a county uh, court reporter. Um, and there's a, there's a lot more people that maybe aren't here because they're dealing with this themselves. But this is definitely something we need help with. I don't know if we have to pump it across 87 or come up with the money to, to put a culvert in. Something, either that or buy me buy my house and let me get out of there. But you know, uh, you you talking about the corner of Tracy and John Ham? Yes, sir. Yeah, I um, I'm sure you know my dad. Yes, uh, sir. Alton. I will say I'm. <laughs> even though he can be honorary and tenacious, I'm really proud of the fact that uh. You know, he worked the channels and had DOT come out there and, and do some stuff to the pond. I have sort of recused myself from this issue altogether. And even on those, I, I'm sure he would tell you if you asked him, as well as Mr. Furman, I have uh, specifically chose not to take part since, you know, he's uh, really tried to be sort of a champion on that issue. He even called me this morning, <clears throat> said he was going to come speak today, but I think. Uh, just sort of out of respect and not trying to uh, make it look like there was any influence, he decided not to come. Uh, he had made me aware, of, like you said, of, of the uh, the lady there that, um, you know, having having water come back in her house again and, and in the thing. Uh, but I will ask, since you brought it forward, and, and um, I hope you would respect the fact that I've just told him to, to work with Commissioner Cole on this yes, uh, due to the fact that, like I said, the last thing is I want someone saying that, 
you know, I'm, I'm doing extra for somebody because my dad's involved, even though his house doesn't flood, but y'all are neighbors. I grew up right there on Tracy and John Ham for many years, and I understand it's close knit out there. <clears throat> um, Mr. Furman, since, since he's here, I, I will definitely interject though, since somebody else is asking about it. Where are we at on that issue? I know you've talked with my dad a lot and about what the state's done and what are we doing as the county to address that? Well, what we've done is um, <clears throat> initiated a program to try to clean the sediment out of the bottom of the county pit that's there off of 87. We're adjacent to the DOT stormwater retention pond. That pit originally was not a designed as a stormwater retention pond. It was a borrow pit, but we certainly use it as a stormwater retention pond. The water from Tracy Drive, Kim Drive, and the uh, other roads that overflow through that area are migrating to the west toward Highway 87. There's a, a large wet weather uh, pond, uh, wetland area uh, in that north west corner of John Ham and Tracy and that's where the water is directed to it then flows into the county pit and at the present time and I was out there yesterday on a couple of occasions our pit is virtually full probably full by now because there was still water flowing from the wetland into it and when that all fills up we don't as a county have a place to send the water the uh, power line does run through there, so we have to be very careful not to uh, jeopardize anything under the power line easement by expanding our pit, but it is our intention to, and has been for a number of months now since, it's, uh, uh, since DOT has done some repair work on their pond, to get our pond pumped down and clean the sediment off the bottom to restore the percolation in that pond. Yeah, but just we've been overcome by rain for the last number of months and so we haven't been able to pump the pond down. We looked at pumping it down more than a week ago uh, after the, the recent rain, but the swamp was almost full and so that would certainly have a negative impact on the residents down at the intersection of John Ham and Tracy if we're pumping out of our pit back into that swamp area. So, you know, we're kind of boxed in a corner there and you know certainly be open to any major capital projects you know to resolve that that isolated low spot but as far as a good plan other than you know trying to restore percolation in the pond or our pit area excuse me uh, that's that's about the best we can offer at this time i uh, will talk with mr Furman, and and uh he'd be glad to talk with you too i i know also the the fellow just north of her, I was told, had, had water in his shed as of yesterday um, about maybe the feasibility or asking to look at maybe if we captured some of those wetlands. I know he's got about two acres of wetlands and maybe we could do some extension or whatever, but um, I think Mr. Mr. Furman will look at it and uh, I know he'd be glad to, to get you his contact and information. Um, I wish Commissioner Cole was here, but uh, I'll definitely rely on Tony just to pass along the message of the residents out there. And, and again, I hope you'll respect the fact that I'm um, trying to abide uh, as ethical as possible by, by sort of staying at arm's length on this issue. 